always known I would marry Rich. Why should I be ashamed of that? There's nothing to be ashamed of, as long as you love him. Well, I believe we have some power over who we love. It isn't something that just happens to a person. I think the poets might disagree. Well, I'm not a poet. I'm just a woman. And as a woman, there's no way for me to make my own money. Not enough to earn a living or to support my family. And if I had my own money, which I don't, that money would belong to my husband the moment we got married. And if we had children, they would be his, not mine. They would be his property. So don't sit there and tell me that marriage isn't an economic proposition because it is. It may not be for you, but it most certainly is for me. Is it fairies? Santa Claus. No, it's old Aunt March. Is Mr. Lawrence Santa Claus. Lawrence Boy's grandfather? Yes. Why? He saw you giving your Christmas breakfast away and he wanted you to enjoy the day. But I thought he was a mean old man. That's so generous of him. His grandson, Laurie, put the idea into his head. I know he did. We should make friends with him. Hmm. Boys scare me. And that big old house scares me. Jenny Snow says that Mr. Lawrence disowned his son after he went off with an Italian woman, and now his grandson is an orphan, and he spends all this time in that oh, house locked up with his tutor. He's a very kind man who lost his little girl when she was only a child, and now has son as well. His daughter died? That's so sad. But doesn't Laurie just seem so romantic? He's half Italian. When I get into passion, I get so savage, I could hurt anyone, and I'd enjoy it. You remind me of myself. But you're never angry. I'm angry nearly every day of my life. You are? I'm not patient by nature. But with nearly 40 years of effort, I'm learning to not let it get the better of me. I'll do the same then. I hope you'll do a great deal better. There are some natures too noble to curb and too lofty to bend. Joe, would you like to dance with me? I can't because... Because of what? You won't tell? Never. I scorched my dress, see? There. And Meg told me to keep still so no one would see it. You can laugh if you want to. It's funny, I know. I have an idea of how we can manage. I just feel, I just feel like women, they, they have minds and they have souls as well as just hearts and they've got ambition and they've got talent as well as just beauty and I'm so sick of people saying that, that love is just all a woman is fit for. I'm so sick of it, but I'm, I'm so lonely. Josephine! Yes, dear. Is there a reason you stopped reading Belsham? I'm sorry. I'll continue. You mind yourself, dearie. Someday you'll need me, and you'll wish you had behaved better. Thank you, Aunt March, for your employment and your many kindnesses, but I intend to make my own way in the world. Oh, well, no, no one makes their own way. Not really. Least of all a woman. You'll need to marry well. You are not married, aren't we? Well, that's because I'm rich. I'm working on a novel. It is a story of my life and my sister's. Make it short and spicy. And if the main character is a girl, make sure she's married by the end. Ow, Joe! So I want to be an artist in Rome and be the best painter in the world. That's what you want too, isn't it, Joe? To be a famous writer? Yes, but it sounds so crass when she says it. <laughs> My girls have a way of getting into mischief. Well, so do I. This is Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. <laughs> I 
intend to make my own way in the world. No one makes their own way. Least of all a woman. You'll need to marry well. But you are not married, aren't you? Well, that's because I'm rich. Joe, would you like to dance with me? I can't because I scorched my dress. And Meg told me to keep still so no one would see it. I have an idea of how we can manage. Joe is a lost cause. So you are your family's hope now. I believe we have some power over who we love. It isn't something that just happens to a person. I think the poets might disagree. We can leave right now. I'll sell stories. Joe. And you, you should be an actress and you should have a life on the stage. Just because my dreams are different than yours doesn't mean they're unimportant. I have hey. loved you ever since I've known you, Joe. I couldn't help it. It would be a disaster if we It would be a disaster. Okay? We'd be miserable. Joe. I'd be a perfect I saint. I can't. A new play written by Miss Joe Marsh. <laughs> Women, they have minds and they have souls, as well as just hearts. I want to be great or nothing. And they've got ambition and they've got talent, as well as just beauty. And I'm so sick of people saying that love is just all a woman is fit for. I'm so sick of it. So, who does she marry?